Hi, everybody. Well, it's that time. Let's check in to how holidays over at the Harkles went. And this is our opportunity to check in on each kid, too. So we'll just do a, try to do a quick one on all four of them. Now, every time I've tried to check in on these kids, I've never gotten any happiness. Let's hope that wherever they are, and I've never gotten that they were together. So let's hope that wherever these they are, they had at least a nice Christmas. All right, let's start off with, um, first let's look at Megan's Christmas. How'd Megan spend Christmas Day? How was Megan's Christmas Day? How'd she spend it? How'd it go? Please show us very clearly Megan's Christmas Day. Megan's Christmas Day. Please show us Megan's Christmas Day. Ten of Swords. She felt betrayed. Rock bottom there. Ten of Wands. Wow. Four of Swords. Three of Pentacles. And the Star. Well, it ain't looking good over here for as far as Megan's Christmas went. Then we have the Empress. Strange. That's the Queen card. The Empress represents a Queen could also be if it's not Queen Camilla it could be Princess Diana so the underlying energy the underlying tone on this whole Christmas allegedly this is card reading guys entertainment purposes only now it looks like Megan had her mind on Princess Diana she was betrayed she felt backstabbed she's at rock bottom Megan's Christmas was rock bottom. Here's another 10, 10 of wands in reverse. There was something that happened, a be, some betrayal that came in, that 10th sword. These are 10 swords in your back getting betrayed 10 different ways. That last sword was the straw that broke the camel's back. This is carrying a really big burden, stress, anxiety. And this is like just too much. That's really scary because that is a really, really crappy mental state to be in. But the weird thing here is right in the center, we're getting the four of swords. So this is like she rested. She spent the day in bed, chilling, resting, trying to come up with a plan here. Three of pentacles, three or more people working together uh, to create something. So she looks like she had some type of a meeting here with three or more energies on how to move forward, what to do. But the next card is this, I'll cover up the boobs. The next card is the star in reverse. Okay, the star card is about wishing on a star. It's about hope and renewal. And it came out in reverse. That's kind of like, I mean, she is in, a, it looks like she's in an extremely depressed, bad state. She has gotten no hope. She tried working things out. To make, some, to make a move, to make something happen, and it didn't work. There was no hope for this plan of hers. Ultimate betrayal, ultimate stress, and she was going to do nothing but lay there in bed. That's really strange. Hopefully, that doesn't mean a darker sense. All right. The other thing here is this legal. It's like, you know, when it comes to maybe titles, there was some talk here with the having to do with her title. That could be it. Because the King of Swords is a lot about legal stuff, having a lawyer. Like, how? where do I go from here? How do I keep, you know, her, ele her alleged status in her own mind? With all this betrayal and backstabbing, it looked like she was alone besides that one attempt at making plans. No cups, no love. Prince Harry. Prince Harry's Christmas. How was it? Please show us. 
clearly as possible how Prince Harry spent Christmas. How did it go for him? How was Prince Harry's Christmas? What did Prince Harry's Christmas day look like? How did Prince Harry's Christmas day look like? Prince Harry's Christmas day. I saw that that one wanted out before. Seven of Swords. Two of Cups. Reversed. Page of Wands. Upright. Ten, same one as Megan, that card. Ten of, ten of Wands reversed. And then the Four of Swords. What's at the bottom of this sucker? <gasps> death. The ending of something. The Death card doesn't, mean like, doesn't have to mean necessarily death. It's actually a transformation starting something to begin another could it be that he's trying to get back into this family because look it's like the pope card and isn't um king charles the leader of the church it's like he wants the death of this life and he wants to go back waving a kind of white flag to his dad go back home that's the vibe i'm getting so he's trying to pull one over on somebody he broke with the seven of swords is your your swindler your trickster he smiles at your face and stabs you in the back then we have the two of cups in reverse this is almost like a lover's card it's a pact a promise made between two friends two people that love each other that are close to each other in reverse it's the separation of that of the two breaking your promise getting caught or he didn't get caught but it looks like he it didn't look like he got caught but he was definitely going against this commitment that he made page of wands this is why i'm thinking this death card uh means is he go trying to come crawling back because the page of wands yeah it could mean that he was with one of the children but it doesn't feel that way to me the page of wands i look at is like striking a match it's a new beginning new beginning to grow something new a new opportunity starting out it's it's a new it's a fresh start he's got hopes here that he's going to make a fresh start so he had a lot of stress and burdens that he just can't take it anymore with the ten of wands in reverse and he also spent the day resting so you'd think like no kids no gifts what the heck all right let's go into Arch. Archie. Four years old, wanting a fancy camera. That's all he wants. Just a, I don't even know the name. Just a really fancy camera. The same kind as Grandma did. Just so, these two are gross to me. Sorry. I know some people in the comments get mad, but come on. All right, Arch. Let's hope Archie had a good Christmas. How was Archie's Christmas? How was Archie's Christmas? How did it go? How did Archie spend Christmas Day? How the heck did Archie spend his Christmas Day? How did Archie spend his Christmas Day? What did he do? Who was he with? How was Archie's Christmas? The fool in reverse. Been there, done that. Oh, three of cups. Hey, it looks like he had some kind of gathering there. That's good. King of cups reversed. Oh, a conflict. That, okay, hold on. Let me get these cards out. Knight of wands. Strange. The hierophant. The hermit. It's King of Cups kind of being ignored here by this King of Cups in reverse. Mentally unstable male figure. All right. 
so we kind of got into Archie. This is kind of the, this is the best reading I've gotten on Archie. So with the fool in reverse, Archie's taking a new path here. But the path, it's something that he, it, it's not his first rodeo. When it comes out in reverse, I read this card like it's not a brand new path. You've done it before. It also is kind of being reckless, um, like being a literal fool, kind of like a foolish move. But it has to do with the Hierophant, too. So weird. You know, did he, was he with the royal family? Did he go to church? He's definitely with a group of people that are teaching him morals and ethics. That's who he spent Christmas with. There was a celebration with three or more people, three of cups. There was a Christmas celebration here, wherever Archie lives. Then we have this male energy, the king of cups reversed. So it is an overly emotional man energy. Um, somebody who's had a little bit much, too much to drink also could be mentally unstable. Unfortunately, this male energy is with the four of cups. He's overlooking Archie, not paying a whole lot of attention to him. That's, uh, that sucks. And then here's some more kind of bad ones. Okay. Then we have here the five of swords, which is, a, it's kind of being overpowered, being bullied being pushed into something. And then in reverse, it's conflict that you never really get over. This conflict keeps coming up. It's the same thing over and over and over again, never really gets resolved. It's like picking a scab. And then that's clarified by the strength in reverse. So it's like this weakness because he's not strong enough to stick up for himself. He's got to go with the flow. What's the flow? We have, I mean, this is Prince Harry's calling card here. This is Prince Harry's card. It always has been. The Knight of Wands. But he did turn into the King of Cups in reverse. All right. Let's look at this as fair as possible. So we have this energy that's coming in fast. The Knight of Wands comes in fast and leaves fast. He is the Knight. It's sexual in nature sometimes. I'm not trying to say it's sexual with, you know, I'm just trying to say it's in and out, you know, like. Somebody popped in and then popped right back out. And we're actually seeing a page here. So we're seeing a child. This is an immature child. Um, silly, playful, sometimes like stunted. We've gotten before that like, you know, Archie's in. Every time I've asked about Archie, he stays in. He's never with like a mom and dad. He's never surrounded by love. I'm glad that he had wherever he is that he had this type of celebration, but he's feeling ignored by a central male figure that's unstable mentally or had too much. Then there's this conflict that's making him feel weak. Then a real quick energy and a playful energy. So it could be that, you know, maybe he got a visit here from, it's very possible that he could have gotten a visit here from um, from Prince Harry. Definitely it looks that way. But he felt ignored by him. He felt like the visit was much too quick. That's interesting. Let's ask where he was. Because we should get, let's see. Archie, where was he on Christmas Day? Where did Archie spend Christmas Day? And then we'll go into Lily. Where did Archie spend Christmas Day? All right, where did Archie spend Christmas Day? Where did he spend Christmas Day? We always, okay, we usually get that he's in like some type of a school institution type situation, like learning something. All right. And there's not a lot of love around him, sadly. Where did Archie spend Christmas Day?
two of wands, ten of pentacles reversed, king of wands reversed. There's that card again, that conflict card in the same place. And then we have the six of cups, which is memories and nostalgia. So there's these plans, these plans for this reckless energy that remember the king of wands in and out. An in and out, a quick visit, a planned visit with somebody that just wanted in and out. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, he didn't spend it with his family. And look at the card that clarifies that. This big happy family? No. So he wasn't with his, you know, who, who would technically be his family. Not at all. It wasn't one big happy family. But there was a planned visit and two energies coming together with Harry's card here. It was quick. No, right in the middle, we have that male energy and a tower card. So somebody lost their temper. The king of wands reversed is somebody who can be aggressive, who can be fiery. Um, it could still be Prince Harry. But that's the tower moment. It didn't go so well because there's this male energy that lost their temper here. Now, this conflict that keeps coming up, this is really interesting. The knight of pentacles. This knight is your... He's your bodyguard. He's, he moves slow, but he wears a lot of armor. He's there to protect you. He protects what's valuable. This conflict, this feeling overpowered, he felt like with the knight and uh, pentacles reversed, like nobody was really sticking up for him. He wasn't being protected. He didn't feel protected. He felt vulnerable. Then we have the six of cups, which is memories, nostalgia, this even could be about a sibling or, you know, another kid. It's memories, it's nostalgia, it's nostalgia. And then we have the hermit card, which could, I, people have told me it was Harry's card. I read this card more in situations like this as this could either be that he was heavily focused on memories, other kids, or he was in his home. And remember, we didn't get this for anybody else. Hmm. He was somewhere that he's got memories of. And it was a secret with the high priestess. It was kept secret. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to ask. I can't quit. I got to ask about this. What's this tower moment for Archie? King of Wands reverse tower moment for Archie on Christmas Day. Why the? Why are we getting this tower moment for Archie on Christmas Day? All right, one, two fell out. One's the fool. So he was taken somewhere. He took a new path. He went on a little journey. And the five of swords again, which is this card. Just, he's had enough. It's always the same conflict. Always. Always the same conflict. He felt betrayal to the heart. Just heartbreak for Arch because of... This conflict, this mean, overpowering. And then look at this. This King of Wands card came out again. This is the same card, the same guy. This guy, this male energy that lost his temper. That's what he So he takes this journey right back into the same conflict with the same guy. Gets his heart broke because this guy, this male energy loses his temper on him. And here's another tower moment. Holy crap. What are the odds of that? That's his tower moment, was this father figure type guy coming in, coming out, causing conflict, pushing him into something he didn't want to do, pushing him into a new situation that he did not want to do. Archie didn't want to do it. He didn't feel happy there. He didn't feel like he was a part of the family there, but that was the plan. Come and get him for a quick second or visit him for a quick second. Turn into a tower moment, maybe a meltdown, which caused all this conflict. He felt like he wasn't safe. He wasn't being protected. And he just holed himself up into these memories. That was like the way he protected himself. Well, that's sad. It's sad, but it sure explains it. Now, let's see how Lily compares. 
All right. Please show us Princess Lily's Christmas. How did Princess Lily's Christmas go? How did Christmas Lily spend her Christmas... Christmas Lily. How did Princess Lily spend her Christmas day? How was Lily's Christmas day? Oh, the Six of Cups could have been gifts. That would have... That could be it too. All right. Back to Lily. How was Lily's Christmas? Tell us all about it. Give us the scoop. How was Lily's Christmas? Temperance. Nine of Wands reversed. Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune reversed. What? Ace of Swords reversed. Oh my gosh, and the Tower reversed. So this is a sudden negative, negative, surprising, shocking thing that happens in your life and in reverse, you can't rebuild from it. There's no coming back. Jeez. All right, so we have the Temperance card, which is, it's about patience. It's about the blending of two opposites coming together perfectly like oil and vinegar sh shaken up just for that split second it's perfect but it's also about protection the guardian angel then we have the nine of wands which is somebody who's take upright it's someone who's taken a licking but keeps on ticking to hold the ground up for another fight up for another battle it came out in reverse so it's somebody who's feels wounded and is, does, is wants to throw in the towel. Doesn't have another. Doesn't have anything in them for another fight. Doesn't want to fight. They're at a crossroads here. Have to make a big decision. A decision has to be made. Now this is really bad, in my opinion. The wheel of fortune reversed. This is about the wheels turning forward. Good karma. Good fortune. One chapter closes. Another one begins. It came out in reverse so you're going in the opposite direction here it's a bad turn of luck a bad turn of fate a bad just negative and then we have the ace of swords reverse so this is truth clarity in reverse lies confusion so she wasn't there was this tower moment here she wasn't being protected she didn't want to be loaned out given stuff but check this out this exchange she didn't want to, this exchange to happen this decision this crossroads is work it's like a working gig i don't want to work on christmas is this like tapping into a rental situation and then this bad stroke stroke of bad luck there's no rest it's she needs rest but she couldn't get any the Ace of Swords in reverse is clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse. This is a party. Three or more people coming together to party. Remember, Archie got this upright. She's got it in reverse. In my opinion, they were not together. Not together. Let's ask. Um, where did Lily spend Christmas Day? Where did Lily spend Christmas Day? Where did Lily spend Christmas Day? Lily on Christmas Day. Justice in reverse. Travel here with the Six of Swords. Three of Wands reverse. Oh, devil energy. Come on, for a little girl. 
on Christmas Day, and then the strength in reverse, that weakness thing again. There's that rest card again, traveling to get some rest. So she was on the move, traveling here from a chaotic situation to a calmer situation with the Six of Swords. And then with the Four of Swords, she was traveling to a calmer situation so that she could get some rest. She's a little one, right? Now, Three of Wands reversed. That is not making the next move, waiting for something that's never going to happen. What's that? Page of Wands. So a child like energy or with a new start, a new beginning, just like we got with Harry's. And then look, we got another page of cups here. This is also about being immature, trickery, um, playing practical jokes kind of. And it's connected to this devil energy. So it's like playing an evil trick. Or I hate to say it, but like a child connected to this couple that's connected to evil and dark dark evil devilish things and then we get this weakness that comes with the fool in reverse so it's somewhere that she's been before and it was a reckless decision because she's she, there's no strength there there's no it's there's no backbone there's no support system she was thrown into an unfair situation with this female energy this female energy had something to do with her being thrown into this very unfair situation with justice in reverse. Could also be about envy. So there was travel here from chaos to calm so that she could, she needed to rest. This is, might be, this is the first time I've gotten two kids together, but it's like you're waiting for something that's never going to come. And then we have this page of one. So it's like, you're never going to get this fresh start. Page of Cups tied to this devil energy. I'm going to ask if Archie and Lily were together on Christmas. Did Archie and Lily spend Christmas Day together? Did Archie and Lily spend Christmas Day together? Did they spend Christmas Day together? It didn't look like Archie was around any family except for a quick visit. Did Archie and Lily spend Christmas Day together? Did they spend Christmas Day together? Shit, Joe, hang on a sec. All right, did Archie and Lily spend Christmas Day together? Who were they with? Who was Archie? Did they spend Christmas Day together? We'll do that first. Did Archie and Lily spend Christmas Day together? Wheel of Fortune forward. That's a good sign. Judgment in reverse. Not such a good sign. Page of Wands in reverse. There's that King of Wands in reverse again. There's that Knight of Wands. And at the bottom, it's like somebody wanted to manifest this with the magician. They had all the tools that they wanted to be able to manifest this situation with to make things go their way, to make fate turn their way. Then we have this judgment in reverse, which is basically like being told no or playing God, like making an unfair decision, a selfish decision. And it has to do with taking a path here, a journey. Or just being or making a foolish decision. It could be that too. Let's see. Okay, page of wands in reverse. No growth for these lovers. I think it is a done with Megan and Harry, in my opinion. Allegedly done. King of Wands in reverse. He's got himself in this self-imposed prison. He the King of Wands reversed, which I think is Harry right now, has got himself. He's lost his temper. He's lost his charisma in the reverse. He can be very aggressive with the King of Wands in reverse. He's not making any new moves. He's got, he's not really growing forward. 
and on to new and better things. He's staying where he is, and there's a lot of fury and a lot of aggression with the King of Wands in his reverse. He, the King of Wands in reverse. He's in a position where, in a mental imprisonment that he got himself into with the Eight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Wands, this fast in and out energy, is done. Remember, this is a fresh beginning. This is put a, you know, the, a nail in the coffin, absolute ending to something. Huh. Were they together? Someone tried to make it happen. With the ma magician, they tried to make it, set it and happen, but they didn't think it all the way through. They thought that they were gonna be able to make it happen. We asked if Archie and Lily were together. Judgment in reverse, I would say no. The page of wands in reverse, there's no, there's no, um, there's no hope for this couple to stay together. In fact, they, they might, they might not even be together. And then here is this male energy who allegedly could, it seems like Harry to me, that's got himself in this bind. He is in a bind and he cannot get out of it. He's having a hard time getting out of it, but he put himself in it. And it's the ultimate ending of this in and out of, you know, you can't be in and out of people's lives. You can't keep going in and out of the royal family. You can't have one foot in and one foot out of a marriage, of a family, even your own family. Where did they, were the kids together? I'm getting a big no. Let's ask if Mary and, and uh, Harry were together for Christmas. Looks like Harry could have been with Archie, but we'll ask that specifically too. At least for a short amount of time. Um, who did Megan spend Christmas with? Who did Megan spend her Christmas day with? Oh, the Empress card could have been her mother. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't have to be like Diana or Camila. It could totally be your mom. All right, who did Megan spend Christmas Day with? Who did Megan spend Christmas Day with? Star reversed. The Hierophant. Seven of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Wands, Page of Swords. Under the deck here, we have this Knight of Pentacles. So very slow moving, didn't really go anywhere. She was licking her wounds. Okay, so she had no hope. Once again, no hope for anything good to happen. Within the marriage with the Hierophant, the marriage and the monarchy she's got no hope that there's going to be anything good coming out between her and a reconciliation with her marriage and the monarchy now she's looking at all this time and effort that i put into this wasn't worth the payoff wasn't worth it at all she's feeling like a wounded warrior she's feeling like she's Taking a licking, but she's ready for that last fight. She's got one more fight left in her. That's how she's feeling. Who did she spend it with? It looks like she spent it with a bodyguard. But here's the Page of Swords. Now, could that be a child? Perhaps. It's also about gathering information. We'll ask about this. And then at the bottom, I think she spent it with security. That's what it looks like to me. Security, licking her wounds from a heartbreak. All of her manipulation. She's going to try to manipulate it using a group of people, three or more, working together to try to manipulate the situation to trick us with the Page of Cups in reverse. To make something look one way, but it's really another way. She's going to, she's going to make a fast and reckless decision here. A powerful one. Based on feelings. To try to get herself out of the situation that she put herself into with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Having to do with her marriage to Prince Harry. 
she's going to lose. It's an unfair fight here. Someone's bullying someone. Someone's overpowering another. She's waiting. I think she's waiting for a deal. She's waiting for that money. That's what it is with the Queen of Pentacles. She's waiting for the money. But look, Ace of Wands in reverse, it's not happening. Be careful what you wish for here because you just might get it. That's the Nine of Cups in reverse. No partying, no friends for Megan. Three of Cups in reverse. Ace of Swords reversed. Lies. Confusion. Oh, look at that. Harry in reverse. Or like, you know, the in and out. He didn't even, I don't even think he came to visit her. No, sir. And that was the tower moment. She didn't want to look back on memories and nostalgia. It was too painful. She was not with her kids with the six of cups reversed. Not at home even. There was a lot of fighting. Separation of two of wands, separation of two energies, plans going awry. She was stuck in chaos with the six of not traveling anywhere, stuck in a chaotic situation, a shit situation with the six of swords reversed. She had a bad stroke of fate with the wheel of fortune reversed. She's waiting for that payout though, holding on tight for that payout, six of pentacles. Now check out the, which would have been, look at this next one, ultimate ending. She's, she could sit there with the wounded warrior, going back to this side of the deck. She could sit there and gather information, but it's, she doesn't have a new chance. I mean, it is the ultimate ending. Honestly, I'm, she's hanging on for dear life to the, with the four of pentacles to what she's got. Hanging on to what she's got, whether it be information, the pennies she's got left. But she's being ignored, four of cups. Nobody's paying attention to Megan. So she's up to something. Seven of Swords, she's got something up her sleeve. Some trickery and deception she can do. And it's going to be something out of the ordinary with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Could also be quitting something. She's going to court. And she's going to spill secrets there, guys. Yeah, she's got an idea. All right, well, this isn't looking good at all. So I don't think Carrie... And Megan spun it together. Let's see if we'll just ask outright. Um, did Harry see Archie on Christmas Day? Looked like they did. Did Harry see Archie on Christmas? Uh, did Harry see Archie on Christmas Day? Actually, let's go. Did Harry see Archie or Lily? Well, we'll go Archie. Let's make it clear. Did Harry see Archie on Christmas Day? Did he see Archie Christmas Day? All right. Did Prince Harry see Archie on Christmas Day? Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed, The Fool reversed, Six of Swords reversed, and at the bottom, Ten of Wands reversed. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. It looks like he was by himself here. He possibly even could have been with a single female. He was definitely not with his with Archie I'm gonna go with that allegedly because there was that bad turn of fate bad turn of luck there bad stroke of luck that he was trying to get the kids remember on our last one but something had someone threw a wrench in that the fool in reverse this path that he's taking it was a it's a reckless one he's choosing not to travel and to stay in this chaos he wasn't, no, I don't think he was with, and that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't believe he was with Archie. All right, Lily. Was Prince Harry with Lily on Christmas Day? Jesus. 
did Prince Harry see Lily on Christmas Day? Gosh, Megan looks miserable. I mean, well-deserved, but those cards are kind of concerning. Did Archie see Lily Christmas Day? Did he get to spend any time with Lily in person on Christmas Day? Prince Harry and Lily. Did Prince Harry get to spend any time with Lily on Christmas Day? There he is, King of Wands. Heartbreak, trying to get over some kind of heartbreak with the Three of Swords. Hangman in reverse. Someone got caught being sneaky here. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Here's that in and out energy again, this quick energy. He's not in the reverse this time. But look, he's got his back turned towards everything. They got their, He's got his back turned towards everything here, as far as when Lily's concerned. So he's trying to get over this heartbreak because somebody's hanging on to Lily. He doesn't have control over Lily, allegedly. Which, this hanged man in reverse, that's like, you know, it, it's some type of a personal sacrifice it's also about not looking at things from every perspective. You're not really being logic. You're logical. You're just, you got your blinders on. I want it. I want it. And I want it now. I want it this way. But it's not working out for him like that. In fact, it is 10 of wands. Totally stressful. He's carrying a really heavy load. Stressed out when it comes to Lily on Christmas. Now, somebody here is trying to get away. This is the swindler trickster card that smiles in your face and steals from you and lies to you when it's in reverse the mask has fallen off and somebody got caught with their pants on the ground caught red-handed and look at the card that clarifies that the devil in reverse this couple chained to this evil devil toxic energy in reverse, I think somebody got caught trying to separate themselves from each other. Like So to me, with Harry with his back turned towards this, I think he got caught. Doing what? Trying to be someone else's Prince Charming. What's the one under that? The High Priestess. Yeah, secrets came out. Maybe that's why Megan was so upset. It doesn't look like Harry spent any time at all with, with kids here on, or at least with Lily on Christmas. But guess who he was with? He was Prince Charming, Knight of Cups, with his proposal, um, invitation of love and friendship. This is Prince Charming, Knight of Cups. He's coming in on his best behavior to this high priestess energy. But he got caught. He definitely got caught, and that could be what Megan is so upset about. I wonder if pictures and stuff are going to come out. I don't know. This is interesting. Now I'm going to, we'll dive more into them. I just wanted to take a quick look and see what the Harples were doing for Christmas. How about this? Let's ask about Dory. I'm just curious since we're asking about kids and the Harples, I consider her a part of the Harples. Show us Doria's Christmas. What did she do? Who was she with? Doria. Doria's Christmas. Who was Doria with and how did her Christmas go? Did Doria see the Harples, including the kids, on Christmas? Did Doria at least spend time with the kids on Christmas? Or Megan or Harry? Doria. She get to see the Harkles on Christmas. Oh, 
Well, it wasn't her decision, or she was forced into a decision here. Page of Pentacles reversed. She was Eight of Cups reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. That's the same spot we got for Megan. Oh, Queen of Swords reversed. Wow. All right. Oh my gosh, this is surprising. Okay. All right, Miss Doria, allegedly, with the Two of Swords and the work card here, the Eight of Pentacles, doing the same thing over and over and over again in reverse, this is, she was backed into a decision here. Backed into a decision, forced into a decision where, nope, you're not part of this anymore. We're going to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. It's not going to be Christmas the way you want it, the way that you would imagine it. In fact... As far as the children go, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, there's nothing new to learn here. It, it, this is that bad karma, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We've gotten some bad news about, the, about this kid situation. Doria, Eight of Cups in reverse, she was stuck in a situation, and at Christmas at least, she was in a situation that she didn't want to be in. She had one foot in, one foot out, Eight of Cups reverse, you're in a situation you don't want to be in with and she was trying to heal from a heartbreak it was a betrayal to her she felt betrayed she felt heartbroken. that's how she spent her christmas now weirdly enough she's with at the same position megan got is this three of pentacles this group of people trying to figure out a plan working together using the strength if we muster up all of our strength then maybe we can figure something out but here comes the harsh queen of swords in reverse, which is the Queen of Swords in reverse, she is absolutely brutal. She's a liar. She's off with your head. She confuses the situation. She dictates, dictates the situation. She calls the shots and she's absolutely cruel and brutal. And look what that's clarified by. The Five of Pentacles, out in the cold, sent away, banished, kicked out, abandoned. I think it looks to me like Megan told Doria, you're, you're not allowed here this Christmas. That's what it seems like to me because with the next card, secrets are starting to come out. We got to be careful here. This is going to be an ending, total ending, the world in reverse. What's over here? Yeah, the betrayal. Secrets are coming out with this ultimate betrayal. People are starting to see the truth. What's the ending? The ending of my Prince Charming. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to learn so much from you. You guys have taught me so much. And I didn't really start watching the royal family. And I started really liking the queen when I saw how she handled her family business. So I would love, I'd love to read your comments. And I can't wait to see what you think. Merry Christmas. Bye.